Okay, so you get into your car and start it up. And you get this number. And you look at the screen. All right, so you look at the screen and all you see is your battery's drained and this exclamation point up here. If you don't have one of these already, you should definitely buy one. This is the OBD2 uh, diagnostic interface. You can pick these up relatively cheap, like 23 to 25 bucks. And then you just buy a, an, an app, something like Torque Pro, and go ahead and spend the extra couple dollars. I think it's three or four dollars for the, the Pro. I mean, it's a lifetime thing. Just buy it one time and you're done. It's not like you have to only use it for the Prius. You can use it for other vehicles too, but Let's take a look at what the OBD2 says. Your OBD goes right down here, up and underneath. All right, so I've loaded the Torque Pro and I'm gonna tap where it says fault codes on there. And these are a P0880. Not sure what that is, so I'm gonna tap it to go to the web. And hit web lookup. And it takes us here where you can just copy and paste it onto your browser but scrolling down it says replace battery pack corrosion bus bars cooling fans battery cells so kind of a generic code so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to torque pro and we're going to go back and i've loaded some useful things uh this is the battery bank i mean just not having the car drive but just opening up on the right the is on top is the least charged and on the bottom it bottom right is the most charged all right so we got quite a bit of difference almost two volts and all right so there's a total of 14 blocks and actually there's 28 batteries so they have two blocks and they're series connected to make 28 so we're going to this vehicle for a drive and they kind of look normal until you mash on the gas and you see the on the top right the lowest voltage and the bottom right is the highest voltage and if you look into the corresponding different blocks they all kind of look normal now that I decelerated have a second person watch this I'm gonna mash the gas again and see where it went down you can see quite clearly that that was block 8 it's hard to do this in town. You might find a nice little straightaway and keep it mashed. But while decelerating or once you reach your speed, a lot of times the voltage will go back up to normal. So just hit the gas hard and uh, take a look. Not while you're driving. <laughs> Leave that to the other person. But you can see it's block 8. It's giving us the trouble. If we wait long enough, I'm sure the block 8 code there's a bunch of different codes for the blocks um, that specific specific code would pop up and uh, you wouldn't even have to investigate all right so mashed it one more time again this block 8 each block has two batteries so you can either isolate to the single battery or just replace the whole block let me show you All right, so the total of 14 blocks in the Prius Hybrid. Uh, each block is two cells. So you count from the passenger side to the driver's side, and you'll find out where each block is. So this is number seven, for example. I have a different video, how to replace the individual cell. So you could just measure the two cells and find out which one is the strongest or replace both of them. We want you to be safe out there. Remember, this job can hurt you. So if you do it, you do it at your own risk. Anyway, thanks for watching. See it.